We continue to track the spread of COVID-19 in nursing homes across the state. Fox 61's Matt Karen reports and brings us up to date on the response as well as the challenges with it. The Connecticut Association of Healthcare Facilities held a digital news conference today. Right now, 108 of the 215 nursing homes in Connecticut have at least one case of COVID-19. At Kimberly Hall North in Windsor, a Genesis Healthcare facility, 35 people have died. Dr. Richard Pfeiffer is the chief medical officer there. I wish I could tell you, I wish I could tell you exactly why at that facility they had so many when, when others at Genesis and others around the state and around the country don't. But that speaks to how much we don't know yet about this virus. At nursing homes across Connecticut, it's a fight for life and a fight to get PPE, a mask that used to cost six cents and a gown that used to cost 60 cents. Not today. Today you can buy a surgical mask for $1, maybe $1.20, 20 times more than we pay in normal times. A gown, if you can get them, is somewhere between 8 and $12. The virus can only be spread through four ways, visitors, outside appointments, through new admissions, and from staff. But despite restrictions and best practices, the invisible enemy has taken a foothold amid the vulnerable nursing home population. This COVID virus is unlike anything we've seen before in long-term care. The providers told Fox 61 the key is testing, testing residents. We need to be doing more testing among residents and patients within long-term care facilities because the more we test, the more we can cohort patients together. And testing the staff. We also need to and want to do more testing of staff who are working in long-term care facilities and skilled nursing facilities so that we're catching asymptomatic people who are contagious. But bear in mind that when you test someone, it is just a snapshot in time. It just tells you about today. It doesn't tell you about tomorrow or next week. And so you need to have periodic testing. There have been 378 deaths so far related to COVID-19 in Connecticut nursing homes. That equals nearly 40% of the total COVID-19 deaths in the state of Connecticut. For the Fox 61 News, 